y'all and welcome to today's video. Colourpop sent me the new Naruto collection. I cannot believe I got this in the mail. We are going to swatch everything and we are just going to have a good time playing in makeup. I'm going to test this collection out, create a look and let y'all know, is this the great Colourpop formula? Do we love it? Do we not love it? We're going to play. So let's jump into it. <music> Okay, getting started, I did not expect this collection to come to me, so I'm super excited that it did. This is the Naruto and Colourpop collection. There's a lot to this collection, so we're going to swatch it all first, and then we will try it on. Now, this collection is available now. We have the palette. We have super shocks, we have liners, we have glitter, we have lip oil, but it is available on the ColourPop site now. I will link it down below at ColourPop so that you can check it out, the prices, everything like that, and it is coming to Ulta as well. I will put the Ulta link in the description box and I will put the date that it's launching at Ulta there as well. So let's kind of talk about this collection. The main item we have is the ColourPop Narto pressed powder palette. So the outer packaging, you can see we have this metallic design. This, all of this like cloud design is raised. You can feel the texture as well as the name of the palette, which I like. I like when they give us nice cardboard packaging. And then opening the palette up, we have this really cool color story. Literally, we have these cool tones here, and then we have some more warm tones over here. So you can definitely do lots of different looks with this palette. There are enough neutral or neutral leaning tones in here that you could create a neutral look. Of course, you can create a bold look, a colorful look. This palette seems to go from light to dark. So let me show you a close up of the palette and let me show you swatches just so that you can see how everything swatches out. Of course, the true test of a shadow is going to be how it applies on the eyes, but swatches are fun and it looks like we have several different formulas in this palette. We have mattes, metallics, matte sparkle, pearlescent glitter, and duochromes. I love when a palette has multiple different finishes. And I'm gonna show you swatches of the other things as well. All of the packaging vary on theme. If you are a fan of Naruto, you will love this. My kid likes this. I had him explain to me some of it, but I'm still gonna get some of it wrong and I'm sorry. But we have the super shocks. I wanted to show you the boxes because they're very on theme for the collection. And if you love Naruto, you may wanna keep those boxes because they look really cool. I love super shocks. I think the formulas are beautiful and I'm always happy to have more in my collection. So I wanted to show you that and I wanted to show you swatches so you can see the like high shine finish of those. We also have three new liners. So let me show you these. These are the BFF cream gel liners. They are their ninja worthy look ready, says ColourPop. So I am looking forward to trying these. I really like this formula from ColourPop. I have bought a ton of these. And I have to say this light pink shade, I think is gonna be really popular because I know so many people love to put like nude in the waterline, but a light pink can be very like brightening and give you that awake look as well. So I like that they included that. We also have a Glitterly Obsessed, which this, a glitter gel is my preferred way to wear glitter if I'm ever gonna wear glitter. Now I'm not telling you to wear glitter, I'm not telling you to wear glitter, but I'm saying when I like to wear it, I like to wear it in a gel form. So let me show you a close up and a swatch of this as well. This is the Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter Gel, and this is in the shade Gold Dust. So we're gonna play with this. We're gonna play with everything in the collection. We're gonna play with everything. I also have the Lux Lip Oil. So again, this cute packaging. Let me show you a swatch of this as well. This is the Lux Lip Oil to Nourish and Shine. It is a sheer formula. And 
very, very cute packaging. So now that you have seen the full collection, you've seen everything swatched out, I am ready to test it out, try it on, have some fun with makeup. So let me zoom y'all in and we'll apply. Okay, before we do the eyes, let's try on the lip oil. Now on my lips, I do have on a ColourPop lip liner. This is the Lippy Pencil in the shade Dopey. And this is the Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Fifth Avenue. So that's what I have my lip on now, like my lip combo now. So I'm gonna use the Lux Lip Oil from this collection. It looks to be a really pretty like warm terracotta with a gold sparkle. And I'm just gonna apply this. Now this is a new to me shade, but the Lux Lip Oil formula is not new to me. I have bought many of these. I really like the formula. I think it feels thin, but also still hydrating on the lips. You can wear it on its own. You can wear it layered over something if you like. It is probably my favorite drugstore lip oil formula. I think it's a really nice and non goopy or sticky. Okay, so I know I'm gonna show you a swatch on bare skin. That's what, through the power of editing, you saw that at the beginning of the video. So I also wanted to apply it over a lip color because that's how I normally wear these. So here it is over the lip liner and lipstick. Now, let me throw on an eyeshadow primer and we'll play with this palette. Okay, for the look today, I am gonna be using these blinged brushes. I just got these in the mail. This is a collaboration between Paige Corinne and blinged brushes. These are actually restocking on Friday. So I will put the information in the description box, but I wanted to use these. Congratulations to Paige for having such a successful brush launch that now you're having to restock. I'm gonna use those brushes. And again, they will be in the description box, but I went ahead and put on my eyeshadow primer over here on this eye. And looking at this palette, we have options. Oh, we have options. But I want to start off with Ramen Ichiraku because this is my kid's favorite. This is my kid's favorite. So Ichiraku, always, always. So I'm going to start with this shade. This looks to be a light kind of cool toned matte with some sparkle. So I'm just going to start off with this shade over here. Okay, so I'm gonna take that Ichiraku shade and I'm gonna press it on first. You can see this shade is not very deep. So I'm just going to have it be right in here, kind of a mid-tone shade. And I'm kind of pressing it on first because I wanna get some of the sparkle from that matte down. And then I'm gonna blend, and as I blend, some of that sparkle will buff away. But you can just use this type of shadow like you would a matte if you like. I'm going to add a little bit more. I am getting a little fallout. I don't care about fallout whatsoever. I will brush it away when I'm done with my look. And I'm just gonna buff that in right in here to get us a nice, kind of brightened inner part of the lid right in here. Okay, so I've got that light kind of dusty pink down here. You can see a little bit of that sparkle. And I wanna go in now to this shade right here. I know my son told me how to say it. I don't remember, sorry. It's gonna be this like burgundy, deep red wine type of color. And I'm gonna press this right on this outer part of my lid. I'm gonna press first because I want that pigment to be right there. And then I'm going to blend. That's a really a pretty shade. And I really like it with this light kind of dirty pink that we started with, pinky beige. I don't know what you would call that, but I kind of like it. So I'm gonna press right there 
and I'm going to pull it just a little bit underneath my lower lash line and I'm just going to keep this kind of in this smaller area. I may bring it up. There we go. Just a little bit more. Let me add. There we go. I'm like, let me add just a little bit more to get that intensity. But I'm feeling these shades together. I'm just going to blend like this. Okay, I'm going back with Ichu Raku shade and I'm going to buff out like this just lightly to give us a nice little blend, make everything cohesive. Okay, I think this is looking pretty cool. I want to take this shade right down here though, this beautiful kind of blue green teal. I think this looks so good, Hidden Mist Village. And I'm going to take this and put it all along my lower lash line. Okay, so I'm just going to press this up against the lashes first. So right here, and I'm going to have it meet the other shade that we put on the outer corner. So I'm stamping it on first and then I'm going to blend it a little bit so that it blends a little bit lower like that. Yeah, that's, that's such a beautiful shade. So I'm just going to pull it around like this. And then I'm going to slowly start to blend it out back and forth so I can pull it a little bit lower. Okay, I'm kind of feeling the way the look is coming together. I like the kind of like winged out shadow that we did here. I want to go in with this orange or like copper. It looks kind of orange between the kind of red and blue. So I want to go in with this shade right here and we're going to put this on the lid but we're gonna leave the inner part of our lid blank and we're gonna leave the outer part with that matte shade. Okay I want to put this on the center of my lid right here and then I'm gonna bring it out a little over here but I'm just keeping this in the center. I really like the look of these three shades together. This orangey coppery shade to this wine color to this beautiful teal. I'm feeling the way that this is looking. Yeah, I'm really, really feeling that. And then for the inner part of the lid, I want to pull in a super shock because we do have three beautiful super shocks. I want to pull in this orangey one and we'll put this right here on this innermost part of the lid. Um, I'm not going to try to say this, but the, this name, but I do like um, the Super Shocks. They kind of look like Tada. So this is the Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter. And we will put that right on the inner part of the lid. I'm just going to blend a little more right in here and then do this out. And then I'm going to clean the brush off and use the same brush for this. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to pick up the Super Shock on my brush and I'm going to put it just right here on the inner part of my lid. So it's going to be this yellowy orange shade right in here. So we have this nice kind of fade from the light to the dark. That's, that's a pretty Super Shock. I just love the Super Shock formula. I love a Super Shock cheek. I love a Super Shock eye. I love the Super Shock formula. I have so many Super Shock shadows <laughs> because it is a favorite for me. So I'm just going to put this right in here like so. Okay, I like how I started with that lighter shade and then kept the depth out here so that we really have this like but I want to highlight the inner corner. So to do that, I feel like I could do this shade. I could also do this shade, but let's do this one. Let's keep it 
let's keep it with this shade right here. And then I want to bring a little more drama to the lower lash line. So I'm going to buff in just a little bit of this lighter kind of like sage green. So let's highlight the inner corner and then buff the lower lash line. Okay, I really like this little bitty brush. This is Hidden Leaf Village. And it's going to let me keep that bright shade right on that inner corner so that we have we have a bright inner corner highlight i'm into it okay now i'm gonna go into that kind of mid-tone sage green matte and i'm just gonna buff this underneath that kind of teal shade to buff it out a little bit, give us a little more drama. And then we are going to use our Glitterly Obsessed Glitter Gel. Okay, I'm going to say this, so listen closely. I am not telling you to put this glitter on your face. I'm not telling you to put this glitter anywhere. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this, and that is it. I'm going to take... <laughs> Listen, don't be yelling at me, all caps in the comments, okay? You do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. This is the ColourPop Gold Dust Glitterly Obsessed Glitter Gel. I'm going to pick that up on the same brush that I used earlier um, with the shimmer shades. And I want to tap this right under that shadow to give us some glitter. All right, we're gonna put the cream gel liner in revenge on our waterline and the upper lash line is just gonna be a black liquid liner and I will be right back okay y'all here is the finished look I just put on a black liquid liner on my upper lash line and some lashes to finish off the look I am wearing uh, ColourPop blushes also. Let me tell you what I have on, just in case you're curious. I actually mixed both of the blushes from the Alice in Wonderland collaboration, uh, Silence and Oh Dear. I mixed these for my powder blush. And then instead of like a regular highlighter, I went on top with my ColourPop Snow White. I wish I wish super shock blush so that's what's on the cheeks and then this kind of like body glow i have i have going on is a few things i have on the l'oreal true match lumi lotion in 904 and then i took a big fluffy brush and i dipped into the glam white hershey's milk chocolate face and body bronzer these like really sparkly sparkly shades kind of all over okay let's talk about this collection bear in mind this is a first impression this is my first time using this collection i do have experience with these formulas definitely not new to me but this collection arrived today and I sat down to film with y'all. So the Glitterly Obsessed, this is a formula that I know and love. I do not have a shade like this, this yellow kind of gold with these multicolored reflex. So I'm excited to have that. I think it looks really cute. The BFF gel liners, I'm excited to have more shades. This is a formula I know and love. I think the metallic blue looks really pretty in the waterline and I'm looking forward to using the other two. The uh, Super Shock Shadows, again, I told y'all like I have, I have a whole like bin of these because I love the Super Shock formula. These applied, well, this one, this orange one applied really nicely. They all swatched well. So I'm excited to have these shades to keep playing with these. And that brings us to the palette. I did not use every shade on my eyes. I will definitely do that before I follow up with a review. But we used how many shades? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of the 15 shades. And I'm really happy with my look. Everything worked super well. I like the colors they chose. I like that we have some kind of 
bright orangey yellow gold tones I like that we have these blue greens and these more reds I think there's enough neutral in here that you could do something neutral if you like something warm something cool so far I'm enjoying this I think this is a really nice collection a really nice launch if you were looking to purchase this I think that you will be pleased with it I will say if you're shopping your stash if you're on a low buy or no buy definitely go through what you have see if you can pull some things to recreate I had fun playing with makeup today I'm into my look I'm definitely gonna be glam with this glitter as I go out this evening. I hope whatever you're doing, you're having a great day. Don't forget, I will link these blinged brushes that are a collab with Paige Corinne down below. This set was delivered today, but I have been using blinged brushes for months and months and months here on my channel. So I know these are gonna be that great quality. Everything I talked about will be in the description box. I tried to put as much there as I can, but thank you again for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see y'all very soon in another video. So make sure to subscribe so I show up on your subscription feed and I will see you then. Bye.